Hello watchers and dear subscribers. Now in this video we will talk about how you can make your user to check out your other applications in the Play Store. Now this is the part 33rd tutorial of make your Android application of Android interview. Now let us quickly jump onto the Eclipse. Now inside the Eclipse in our Android interview application in the last video we saw how you can make the user to rate your application in the Play Store. Now in this video we are going to add the functionality to the button see our other apps which is actually this button. Now do one thing let us copy these statements of BRate app and paste it inside our see our other apps. Now what we are going to do we are going to make some simple changes in our codes. Now instead of details we are going to change our URL. Let's write search question mark instead of ID. Let's write Q which stands for query now equal to remove this package name function. Now let's type publisher name. Now this name actually now guys whenever you will make a developer account in the Google Play Store then they will ask you what publisher name you want to keep. So whatever name you enter you have to give that name right here. So similar to the package name the publisher name that you can see here is also unique. So whatever is the publisher name of your developer account make sure you give that name right here q equal to your publisher name right. Now this is the try block now if this code throws some exception now if you have watched my previous tutorial guys you must be knowing this is the URL that I have written for the Google Play Store application. Now suppose if the Google Play Store application is not found in the user's phone then in that case this catch block will be executed. Now again I have to make some changes in this URL fine. So firstly remove this get package name function. Now after that make some changes here. Search question mark query equal to publisher name fine. Now this is the publisher name. Now do one thing save our application and run it. Now I will run the application in our emulator Shrix device and also my real device GT18552 so as to depict the importance of try catch statement. Now let us first run our application in our real device. Now our application is running. Now let's click on the see our other apps. Now see we have been automatically redirected to the play store and in the play store you can see the three apps is being displayed right here. Now this is the publisher name that the developer has given. So this URL with a publisher name will make user to straight away go to this link and user will be able to see all those application that this developer has launched in the Play Store. Fine. Now similarly guys if you run this application in the emulator then let's see what happens. Now this emulator is actually do not have the Google Play Store installed. Now our application is running. Now let's check out by click on this button. Now see since we don't have a Google Play Store application installed in our emulator that is why the try block throw some exception that was caught by our catch block and it has redirected the user to the developer account of the publisher using the default browser. So in this way guys this code has prevented our application from being crashed and just now we saw how you can make your application run in, in all the devices irrespective whether that smartphone is having the Google Play Store application or not. So hope you guys like what you saw. Please comment like and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then stay tuned and thanks for watching. Have a good day.